Hi everyone and welcome back. In today's tutorial, I want to show you how to create this parallax scroll animation in Fig. Let's get started. To get started, let's go to the description of this video and download the exercise file that I have prepared for you. Open it in Figma and let's go to assets. And here in our assets, we have some typography and button and we have our main image and three image layers that we can use to create a parallax 3D effect. All right, this tutorial is gonna be very simple, but it's a cool effect to learn and to integrate your next design. So let's go and start by creating a new page. And let's pick the frame tool and let's create a basic desktop frame, MacBook Air one. All right, let's name it scene one and let's go and bring all those layers command C select all the images and let's bring them down here all right shift one to reveal everything now let's drag this image inside our frame and resize it to fit the screen but we don't have to make to make it uh, fit exactly the screen all right now let's go excuse me here like that reframe move it down so we can add our next layers so now the first step is here let's go and duplicate this image command C and command V and let's crop the image and we need only to take the lake or the water of the image so here let's rename this water surface all right so this is the global image like that it's our default image and here we have just the water of the image all right so we need this in a separate later, uh, layer next let's move in this inside and resize like that all right so this will be you know the edge of the surface once we uh, dive in underwater and let's move this on top of the water line resize like that and make sure the mountain image is you know the back layer then the surface of the water the second layer then the water line then the underwater so we need to make sure they are in that order and let's you know add this here resize you know recess until it blend in like that so in this image we have a filter you know it's a mask as you can see once you open it we have a mask of a linear gradient and an image that we have downloaded from in splash all right we have masked everything to create this effect. Let's close. No. 
to create a gradient mask. Now let's go and close this. And as you can see, we have an amazing scenery like that with underwater. Now we need to animate, but first let me add my typography. Let's go back to assets and here command C. Let me add this here like that. And let's you now make some movement here separate them so we need that movement in our next transition and also let's create explore a bold text like this white or let's change it to discover or whatever you like and let's increase its size to 150 and the font size is Anton. All right. So let's align it with the surface of the water like this. And let's go and reframe this. Alright, maybe like that. So we need to see the mountain reflection. And let's center this like that. Maybe I can increase and move. No, let's go back. Let's keep it simple like that. All right, now let's duplicate this scene. All right, and reveal all the layers. Make sure this is, you know, it's constrained our central top. And let's move. Let's reveal all those layers. Now here, the first thing we're gonna do is let's select the mountain peak and the surface layers and move them to the top like that. All right. Now let's select the surface and resize like this. As you can see, we will press it like this. Let's move this text to the top. And also, let's move that like this, this water line and underwater together. All right. And let's select the mountain image in the background and let's scale it down. like that also let's press more V let's press more our surface and move the water line like that all right move a little bit our mountain to the top now we will make let's press also a little bit more now we will make radical movement here so select the water surface the water line and the underwater and move them all the way to the top like that and let's keep the mountains 
uh, as they are and for this this cover let's move it let's move it um, back here you know let's move it let's keep mountain peak water surface and the typography here under or uh, yeah under water line and under water all right so we need to hide it let's move that up like that and the typography up and let's rearrange this like that you know to make those movements you are free you know to play with the movements yeah till now also let's move those up and I think select now everything all the layers instead of slider info and move them like that maybe we need to keep I mean this uh, this underwater layers we need to see those reflection and for the scuba diving image let's move it just along here to create this parallax effect all right it's kind of 3d effect move it up like that along and not the other images all right let's go and close this make sure it is the same size and here let's arrange this like that select all the block something like that we can also hit the K key to make it small like this and let's go to prototype and let's connect screen 1 with screen 2 or scene 1 with scene 2 on drag smart animate gentle and 3000 3, millisecond and let's go and also connect scene 2 with scene 1 on drag so this will be drag out drag in and let's see our previous or preview screen let's start from the first screen excuse me like this and let's see if I drag up all right now all right now we have some Right now we need to readjust our surface line and maybe let's go here and add some times like that 3500 and also in scene 2 the same all right now let's go to scene 2 and let's click clip content to reveal and here for our surface let's press it more like that let's press this make sure it is the water surface layer let's press it like that to the maximum and move the water line and the underwater like that all right now clip content 
let's see all right I mean we need to work more on our surface and I'm trying to figure it out yeah I think it's moving so fast yeah so we need to get let's clip again so we need to move this up like that so let's see all right have a bit more realistic and also as you can see the text will disappear and here will appear like that so this let's copy this text and pass it here and I mean move it it's here I think it's here oh no let's move it here like that and move it up all right like that but I think need to rearrange this like that yeah so the text need to be you know after water surface all right But I'm not satisfied with this surface. So it's a bit fast, I think. Let's move underwater like that and water line down. And also the surface down like that you know it's always a work in progress yes I think this is much better well, let's see in full screen let's remove let's go to prototype and let's remove this device none and let's go yes all right so i think here it looks realistic and now here we need to create some movement like this man uh, mean swimming to the top so to do that we need to move let's go to design select the underwater layer and move it up like that you know make sure you just move the underwater layer and not the other layer all right so let's go back scroll and as you can see we have some great 3d movements now it's not 3d but it's a sense of space foreground and background moving you know let's create an illusion of 3d all right as you can see here 
we have some space revealing here so let's go and select the mountain peak and let's move it a bit like that move down now make the first image a bit larger so let's go one last thing back that's great all right and you can always adjust to make it more realistic and add some more layers for example you can add a smoke layers here on top make it more realistic and this is the concept that's it for this video thank you so much and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and i see you in the next video